Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be creating a birthday themed card using the new Bundle of Balloons stamp set, which is part of the Bundle of Balloons card kit. And we're going to do some solid stamping with our balloons here and then add a sentiment as well. So this is gonna be pretty much a one layer card and I wanna create a rainbow design of birthday balloons. So I'm gonna use my Misty to do my stamping. Since they are solid stamps, I like to usually do a double stamp of each one just to get a really nice solid impression. And I'm going to go ahead and do all of the stamping of the balloons first, and then we're going to add the balloon string separately. So I picked out a rainbow selection of ink colors that I want to use on my card, and I'm just going to kind of go in rainbow order from my blue on the right side over towards my pink color that will be the end color on the left side. Now my intention when I started this card is to have all of the balloons kind of at the top of the panel and then have the sentiment underneath. But I will end up having to slightly modify my design because I'm going to end up getting an ink smudge on my panel. So you'll see how I kind of cover that up and salvage the card instead of starting over. So I'm starting off my stamping with my cornflower ink and this is just a really nice pretty blue color. It's a nice dark blue. And then I'm going to move on to my aqua color. So I'm going to be using blue raspberry for this next balloon. And then I'm just going to continue in rainbow order with the different colors that I want to incorporate. One of the great things I love about doing this type of stamping with dye inks is that when you layer the two different colors together, you kind of get an overlap and you can see one behind the other. So you can kind of see with that green and aqua balloon, when I stamped the green one, it almost made it look like the green one was in front of the aqua balloon. And I just kind of love that overall look. So I really wanted to have a little bit of layering with some of the balloons. I'm moving on now. I went on to my yellow and put that kind of near the bottom. And now you can see that ink smudge that I ended up with there. And at first I was going to start over and then I decided, nope, we'll just change up the design and we're just going to stamp over top of it so that we didn't have to lose this whole panel that we've stamped. And I actually ended up really liking having more balloons than just the ones at the top. But if you get this far and don't actually have an ink smudge like I do, then you can definitely stop now and just have the balloons kind of floating near the top. So I just picked out a couple of the colors and repeated those in some areas near the bottom. I used the Coral Crush, the Sour Apple, as well as the Corn Flower, and just did a little bit more stamping to kind of fill up the area. And now I'm going to tuck my sentiment right in the middle there where I have that little open area. Now when I originally was going to do this, I didn't really have to worry about that because I didn't have any balloons kind of planned to be stamped at the bottom. So I made sure that when I stamped that Coral Crush balloon near the bottom that I was putting it down far enough that I was covering the ink smudge but also leaving enough space for the sentiment. For the sentiment, I just stamped that with black licorice dye ink right in the center area there. And now we're going to add all of the balloon strings. Now for this part, I'm not gonna use my Misty. I'm just gonna use an acrylic block just because it's a lot easier than kind of moving that string around that panel. And this is going to allow me to line it up a little bit easier and do a little bit of masking so that I don't have any of those balloon strings stamping through my sentiment. For the balloon strings, I decided to go with a gray ink rather than black, just so that they didn't stand out too much on the card. I wanted the focus to stay on the colorful area of the balloons. So I'm going to use cement gray ink and do my stamping of all of these balloon strings. And I'm just kind of hopping around here, adding the string to each of the balloons. And I have a piece of masking tape that I'm just kind of adding over the sentiment anytime one of those balloons is going to go down far enough to actually stamp on top of it. So once I had all of the stamping done, I brought in a blue raspberry card base and I'm just kind of looking at the panel on the card base and decided that I didn't love the right hand side of the panel. I don't love that little balloon string that we kind of had against the side. So I decided to trim it down and cut that off. And I'm much happier with the panel like this. I think it looks so much better and it allows more of that card base to show through. So we get a little bit more of that blue raspberry on the outside. I'm using regular adhesive to adhere the panel to my card base and then I'm going to finish off the design by adding some highlight detail to each of the balloons. It just really adds a little bit of dimension to them and helps them not look so flat in one layer. So you can use any white gel pen for this and then what you're going to do is just kind of go around and add a little bit of a highlight onto each of the balloons. I'm keeping the highlight on the same side of the balloon since the light source will come from the same direction and now you can see that finished card with all of that stamping. So I also created a second card and for that one I used all of the card stocks from the kit with the same balloons but the dies this time. So they're the same shape but I used the dies and the card stock for the second card and for the first one we used the stamps with some stamping inks. So you can see there with the stamped one I went with some lighter colors and with the card stock those are more bold like primary type colors. And I really love the overall look of both of them but you can just see the variation that you can get by changing up both your card stocks and your inks with the same design. And then I also changed the sentiment on that second card as well, just to give it a little bit of a different look. 
So that is the two cards I created. I decided once I had all this done, they needed a little bit of jewels added to them. So I did add some clear gems kind of sprinkled around the balloons. And I kept those in exactly the same spot on both card designs. So now we have two birthday cards with those great rainbow balloons. We have one stamped and one die cut. And you can definitely mass produce these. When you do the stamping, you can stamp multiple panels at once if you want to create an entire set of these birthday cards. So that is going to finish this video today. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you in another one soon. Thanks for watching.